students, the family, everyone that's been left behind here. He uh, left an impression on this earth, Lord, and we just thank you for the life that you gave him. And uh, we know that he's with you, Lord, and that uh, we're just thankful for him, Lord. And uh, this is amazing turnout. And uh, we just want to bless his food. Bless everyone that's here that showed up for him and on this rainy, stormy day. And know that we all love him and that we're thinking about him. And he will be missed, Lord. And we thank you for your love. We thank you for the food that we're about to eat, Lord. Amen. We want to welcome everybody here today to celebrate Scott's life. I just really want to welcome everybody and thank you from the bottom of my heart for turning out for Scott. Um, for those of you that don't know what happened, he was innocently riding his motorcycle and when um, he and a turkey vulture decided to collide. There's a certain part of the cardiac rhythm that if you get a blow to your chest at that time, it can put you into a fatal arrhythmia and that's exactly what happened to Scott. We found out that he had been down without a heartbeat um, with no oxygen to his brain too long for him to survive. We supported as long as we could and then Scotty talked to me the morning that he passed away and he said, Mom, I can't control my blood pressure. So um, we put him on oxygen, did our thing. He was surrounded by love. Um, it was beautiful and he simply slipped away. Scotty was born and raised, uh, he wasn't born here, but he was raised all of his life in Sutter and went to school here, was active in 4-H and FFA and anything his mother could drag him to. I am not certain that was really his choice, but that's what he got. Um, he enjoyed uh, showing everything. He had a ball. Um, and as he got older, he got into tough trucks and someone from the fair board said he always had the loudest cheering group of anybody. He had a beautiful life, um, taken too soon, but lived a whole lot in that life. So I just want to ask all of you, if you see your parents, you see your children, always say, love you when you leave them. I just want to thank everybody for coming to support Scott and I want to thank everybody that put this on it was a lot of hard work on a lot of different people so I want to say thank you all and I'm gonna hand it on and a lot of people know Scott for doing just about anything there wasn't a thing that he couldn't do you know Scott was the one that you called he was always there for you you know, it's just, just crazy. You know, we're all here. We all don't know what to say. But we're all going to keep doing it for him. This is the only thing we can do. So I want to thank you guys for coming. He was over at my house, you know, five days a week after sporting events. You know, you name it, he was there. He needed a little quiet place to come after his sisters were giving him hell over across the street. He'd come, he'd come hang out with us, and uh, we'd ride bikes, make jumps. Often saw us riding around with the shovels on the handlebars and stuff like that. Like I said, I could, I could tell stories forever, but uh, I looked at him as my, uh, you know, my younger brother. I, I didn't ask for it, but I, I love very much. He was extremely happy. Uh, he, he didn't have bad blood with pretty much anyone, you know. Everyone loved the guy, got along with him. Everyone keep him in your prayers, he's with us all. Uh, I love you, Scotty. I like to say me and Scotty both made educated dumb decisions. We think about what we're gonna do before we do it, and a lot of the times, you know, it's like, okay, it'll work out. Uh, but. There was probably about 10% of the time, it's like, you know, it's not worth it. 
Uh, so we just decided not to do it. Uh, but there's forever going to be a hole in all of our hearts, and eventually you'll find the strength to build a bridge over that hole. And every now and then you're going to walk across that bridge, and you're going to look inside, and you're going to remember all the good times that you had with him. The sun's going to rise tomorrow, and it's going to set, and it's going to keep going and going and going. The world doesn't stop for anybody, and needless to say, we gotta live for him because he's no longer here, and that's the fact of the matter. Um, as tough it is to say, he's gone and he's never coming back. So the only thing we can do now is remember all the good times that we had with Scott and live for him. So long live Scotty. argued I mean I'm sure sometimes I did get a little irritated with him <laughs> but um, you know he never let me go to sleep upset we never argued and uh, never yelled at each other that was for sure we never did that but um, Scott was always with me all the time always came to every family thing that we had and he had a lot of good friends and great family that's for sure um, but yeah Scott was my best friend and um, I'm so lucky that I got to be with him because um, he was the best, so he really made me really happy. But, um, yeah, he was the best, and he will always be with us and with me. So, um, yeah, we're celebrating him tonight, that's for sure. So, that's all I gotta say. And he loves all of us, and he's so happy to see us all here right now partying for him, that's for sure. So, 